Hi, this is Chris Walker with Big Angie Fan Channel. Back at you with another reaction slash review in my A to Z series. I'm up to all of me. I just did the Billie Holiday version. Now this is the more well-known among the younger crowd at least, um, All of Me by John Legend. This one uh, has a backing track like her previous version, her Billie Holiday version, well she had, I showed you two versions of that, you know, the one with the backing track and one that was just, just the guitar. So this one is backing track, it's going to be more uh, review than reaction because I've heard it quite a few times. And I will say that it does have, it suffers a little bit from the backing track being a little bit too loud in the mix, I think. But as I recall, great singing. Let's check it out. So you can see she's, this is one of her covers where she's really hewing quite closely to the original melody, only doing some subtle changes. Her voice is so gorgeous, um, as always. Uh, one thing I'm noticing here is where, you know, a vocal coach or like a, uh, a sound technician would know this better than me, but it sounds like there's some kind of echo effect, you know, a little bit of reverb that was applied, um, you know, almost like a echo chamber effect slightly. Um, but, you know, I could be wrong about it. it. Sounds like that to my ear. Could be just the acoustics of the room she's in. I'll perfect imperfections. Give your Have the words memorized of this one. Okay, there I wanted to point out something uh, where sometimes I think Angelina fans get a little bit defensive. I'm going to point out something where I think she made a mistake that was not intentional. You know, she does, uh, she has a lot of, you know, non traditional pronunciation in her songs. And it, Angelina fans, you know, rightfully point out that in most cases that is intentional. But that doesn't mean she doesn't occasionally make a mistake. It's not a big deal to me. But she says, there she said, you're my moose. Because she saw the word, obviously she read the word M-U-S-E and she's not familiar with it. So she's pronouncing it the way it looks. But of course it's supposed to be, you're my muse. 
And, you know, it still, it doesn't take away from the song particularly. And if she decided to, you know, release this on an album, she'd probably just correct that, that line. I've seen her uh, take notes in other recordings where she actually noticed, oh, I made a mistake on that one. So it's not a big deal. You know, it's possible to think two things at the same time, you know, that she's a great singer and she occasionally has a mistake that she didn't mean to do. It's doesn't take anything away from the fact that she's a superb singer. I'm just going to go back a little so you can hear that she did say, you're my moose and not you're my muse. Around blue every moon You're my downpour, you're my moose My worst distraction, my rhythm and blues I can't stop singing, it's ringing in my head John Legend in the background. I understand from some comments I read, I don't know if it's actually true, but that John Legend provided this backing track where you can hear, it definitely sounds like it's his voice, but that he, you know, deliberately provided her with not just a karaoke style track, but that also had his voice accompanying it. If so, an example of the respect for her that other artists have. Affections, give your heart to me and give my heart to you. You're my end and my beginning, even when I lose, I'm winning. Cause I give you all to me. I love that part. That's definitely a, you know, slight change by her that just adds so much to the song. It's just so beautiful. I want to go back just slightly to hear that little part. We're both showing heart. The table we both Give your heart to me, I give my heart to you You're my end and my beginning Even when I lose, I'm winning Cause I give you all of me And you give me all Well, that was very, very good. It's, this one for me is kind of right on the cut line between the, the masterpieces and the merely very, very excellent songs, mainly because of that, um, the, uh, the way her voice is in the mix, the, the background music is a little bit too loud. I don't care about that one mistake she made with the lyrics, it's not of any consequence. But, um, you know, just, Song after song of hers is so wonderful. All right, this is fun. I'm almost through the A's now. Coming up next, I hope I'm not going to cry because the next one is always on my mind. So this has been Chris Walker 
this big Angie fan channel here in Hawaii. Aloha.